Hi Dees, welcome, welcome back to the channel Benny Dumbay Anna, it's me Anna with you here and today we are at the beginning of the beach in Altea to discuss all the latest news update from Spain and our sunny and lovely Benny Dom's region. Let's sit down, you can have a drink, coffee, tea, whatever you want and let's discuss all the latest news and what's going on basically in our country. So let's start with the situation first. Uh, what I want to say is that even though we don't have the exact numbers, we just know that the cases are slowly but constantly growing. So it's something that we have here in Spain. It's something that is happening and we are aware about this. But the index is not growing so much in the last like week since it started to grow. It grew by, um, well, 10 points, more or less 11 in more than a week. And that's basically it. It's still 53 cases per every 100,000 people, which is not a big number. It's not something very, very bad. It's not that the situation is getting worse very quickly. No, it's just um, normal data that we were aware probably will be happening soon. And while uh, Europe is heading back towards all the restrictions, a lot of European Union countries are going back, like Germany, for example, um, Holland and a lot of different countries more. Uh, Russia, for example, which is not Europe, but still Russia is also getting back to restrictions. They've been locked down for 11 days, more or less. So um, it's kind of normal to do, but Spain has decided that no, we won't make any more restrictions. We won't get back to that. They are maintaining the same position that there is not going to be any new restrictions, at least so far. In Benidorm, the situation, however, is still way, way more different than it is in a lot of other parts. In Benidorm, we are in extreme risk still. We are at a 286 per every 100,000 of people, um, which all of the authorities, they basically accept it and they know that this is what's going on. They know that it's because of a lot of tourism in our region. Um, and the thing that they are actually looking at is the percentage of people at the hospital, which right now is 148. So it's not even one and a half percent of all people that are in the hospitals are uh, patients of the virus. So everything is not as bad as it seems on, from the first sight. The only difference that they did make uh, right now is in the hospital, in the public hospital of Villa Joyosa here in the area, the only one, which is Marina Baixa Public Hospital. Uh, they've restricted visits towards the people who are actually inside of the hospital. Uh, and uh, what they said is that only one person can go and do so and visit that patient because if not, then um, that's just uh, that's just impossible. They won't be able to guarantee all the um, safety measures if a lot of people from the outside will be visiting the patient. So um, it's something that they had to do to minimize all the risks. So just so that you know, just in case, this is what's going on at the hospitals. But apart from that, nothing else is happening. And the next news is about the train service here in Spain. Uh, it's a very interesting thing because uh, the last year, up until like beginning of 2021, the Renfe company was the only one, it was a monopolist and you know that they were the only ones who had train service mostly and they've had like prices that they wanted to have. Prices were very, very high for a train service. This is why a lot of people were going with a car or even with a bus or um, some other kind of um, transport just to avoid going by train because it was extremely expensive. Going from Alicante towards Madrid, for example, was a, more than 60 euros, which is a lot of money. And right now in 2021, once the new company has summed up to this existing one, Spanish one, uh, that company is Oigo, which is a French company. They've started to going so far from Madrid, Barcelona, like in the area, but they want to expand themselves and get up until Mediterranean area and south parts of Spain, starting from 2022. Apart from that, there's going to be another company that will be coming, which is Ilsa. Uh, so there's going to be three of them uh, already. It's not going to be a monopolist anymore. It will need to share all the um, passengers. It will need to share the prices and see which prices have their competitors uh, just to avoid from shutting down and bankruptcy because Renfe has huge problems and they have some debts and some um, 
problems going on financially just because they've lost a lot of their passengers because of the things how they were doing them because of high prices because of bad service at the trains or train station and people just decided they will look for another way to travel so right now these two new competitors basically will make Renfe suffer even more and they'll decide to um, decrease the prices they are already decreasing some prices for example madrid barcelona is very very cheap to go this area not so much because uh, it's not affected just yet by the low cost traveling because owego and ilsa will be more towards low cost they'll have fast speed internet on board they will have a lot of things for children to do and to play while traveling they'll have movies like uh, bars cafeterias restaurants like a lot of different things that some of the trains either don't have or the service is not very good like Renfe trains I mean so we will see what will be happening we will see it from 2022 there's going to be a huge change in terms of train system here in Spain and everything should be way way cheaper than it is right now which would allow us to travel a lot more uh, using this service because it's faster than by car if it's a fast speed um, and you don't need to have a car because um, putting fuel in the car is already too expensive for a lot of people so traveling by train or by bus just is a better and cheaper option for a lot of us let me know if you've been using trains of Renfe recently or some while ago and how the service was we did it when we went to Madrid not that long ago at the end of August I was filming it as well I have it on uh, my channel I'm gonna put your link right here on the top and uh, it's it was okay but the train especially the one that we took on the way back could have a better quality and better service inside it was not very comfortable let's say it like that the next news that i wanted to share with you is that spain um you know that spain has a huge problem with the gas right now because of argelia and morocco what they've decided because of their like um very very tight and not very good relationship let's call it like that it's been for a while already but Spain was not affected up until now and what happened is that the main pipe that's bringing gas to Spain from Argelia goes through Morocco and as we were talking about this already some while ago uh, they were planning to close that down and eventually this happened on the 31st of October that pipe um, that pipes contract has expired and they did not renew it because of not very good relationships. So um, that one has stopped already. Uh, even though Spain says that they have enough gas just so far until they resolve the situation and find something new, uh, some new methods to bring gas to Spain. But I mean, they say a lot of things, but at the end, not everything is as it seemed to be. This is why a lot of people are buying gas like crazy right now. Like, uh, gallons and gallons of gas they're buying them everywhere and the prices went up because there is uh, at some points there's even a lack of stock uh, however what Spain and Argelia say basically that we will not be without gas because Argelia has another gas pipe that goes through that area which is not enough but they will resolve this problem by bringing gas in specific like containers that will be brought uh, by a ship like by the sea you know navigating but it will increment the cost substantially so even though if even though we will have gas it will be with a very very high price which is just another thing that sums up to all the price increase to all the inflation that we have here in the country once we think that things are slowly getting better and we start to recover our jobs back people start traveling the economy is kind of recovering but then bam electricity wants up then gas problems then they even say that there's going to be a blackout of electricity in spain like these things just keep popping when you say already well i don't know what worse could happen right now there's new thing coming up new increase in prices new problems so we'll see what will be happening we cannot say that everything is bad in here we have an amazing weather we have our jobs the economy is working we have freedom of movement we only wear masks on the inside of buildings like everything is fine except for this inflation and price rise which is not seen so much for people who have like a good income but it's a huge problem for people who have very, very small amount of money, just enough to be able to survive. So 
we will see how Spain will get out of this problem and resolve this issue with the gas. And the last news here is that finally, uh, here in our area, we will start fiestas. Uh, this is something that we've been waiting for a long time. A lot of people were asking me what will be happening if we'll have some holidays here, like some fiestas, some events going on. And yes, we definitely will, even though Benidorm is an extreme risk, it's something that is not even an option to cancel, okay? So what we'll start is on the 12th of November, which basically will be this Friday, if I'm not wrong. There's going to be a start of traditional Benidorm's fiestas, which is more kind of a religious type of thing from one side. And from the other side, there's going to be a huge fair with a lot of attractions, a lot of things like to play for children or just for families to have fun all together. This will be mainly in the uh, park in La Iguera, in the center of Benidorm near the municipal hall. And we will go there, of course, on the first day. I will show you how everything looks like, if there's a lot of people, which kind of attractions there are. And just will give you a comparison to what I've seen two years ago when we did not know all this issue will be coming to our lives. And then uh, during all the weekend, there will be fiestas last day on Tuesday or Wednesday on 17th last day there's gonna be a very nice firework that we'll be able to see from the beach in Benidorm so we will head there once again and on the 18th there's gonna be traditional uh, I would even call it a carnival but it's not it's like a fiesta dress dress up party like uh, something that a lot of british people love and they are coming especially for this fiesta in november which is happening mostly at the british area a lot of people were coming even from different cities they put their fanciest fancy dresses they put a lot of nice and fun costumes and they go there there is even a contest to um decide which costume was the fanciest of them all so it's going to be a lot of fun these upcoming two weeks are very very nice very interesting and of course i'll be trying my best to film as much as i can for you guys from all these benidorms fiestas and then at the end of november we'll already have the inauguration like the beginning the opening of all the christmas lights in benidorm or for the christmas fair uh, we will even have ice skating probably this year back again so a lot of interesting things are coming towards Benidorm. If you will be here during these dates, you are very, very lucky because there's going to be a lot going on. A lot of live music, a lot of fairs, traditional Spanish products, attractions, drinks, fun, music, everything will be here in the area. And what about the Spanish weather for these upcoming days? So far, um, so good, as, as we say. The weather is very nice. It's been not a good weather the last um, few days, but right now here is as nothing ever happened. Warm once again, as soon as the clouds go uh, pass by, as soon as the sun uh, starts to shine again, the weather is very, very nice and warm. This is what's going to be happening today. Uh, the rain and the clouds will remain basically in Balearic Islands and in Catalonia and north parts of Spain, as you can see on the map. But starting from today at night up until tomorrow and then Wednesday and then Thursday and then Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the rain from the Mediterranean Sea that's right there near Balearic Islands will come towards the beach here to our area to Catalonia and Valencian region. Uh, we'll come here and here we'll have some very, very heavy rain at least tomorrow and Wednesday. The rest of the days it says it's going to be cloudy and every now and then there might be some drops. Um, but not more than that, should not be more than that at least. So hopefully it's not going to be raining the majority of the days because fiestas are coming. We want to go to fiestas so much, to the fair, to see Benidorm with all the lights, with the music so alive, you know, as it was before a few years ago, that we just don't want the weather to spoil all this for us. So let's hope it's not going to be raining at least during fiestas here in the area. Uh, and the temperatures, they're rising up a little bit. If yesterday and the day before we had like, well, 17 degrees, maybe it was very, very cold. Uh, right now we have more or less 23, 24 outside. There is a slight wind, but not more than that. 
uh, and these temperatures will be here even though it will be raining temperatures will maintain approximately the same today in our area we'll have between 22 and 24 which is amazing for almost mid-november already in barcelona 20 granada 19 sevilla 22 Malaga 22 as well, Madrid 17, Murcia 22 degrees, Balearic Islands 18, Canarian 24 and Valencia 22 degrees. As I said, these temperatures will remain the same um, even though it's going to be raining, it's going to be cloudy. This is approximately what we will have in the next few days up until the end of the week. And the water temperature has dropped finally and right now is of approximately 21.5, 22 degrees depending on the area these were all the news for today my dears i hope you enjoyed watching them i wish you a light beginning of a new work week and we will see each other in the next interesting video from benito bye